So in the previous section we had talked about a simple NFS sharing that was fine but again that has got some issues and I had already talked about it that NFS by default it's a host based sharing means you can share on the IP address. So any machine who claims to have that IP will be able to access all the exports which is dangerous. So NFS will happily share the exports to any machine which says I am a particular IP address and if that particular export is shared for that IP. So this can be very dangerous. So by using the LDAP or Open LDAP or IPA or Active Directory, some centralized authentication mechanism and Kerberos, now the hosts are required to prove their identity in order to mount the file system. Means I should have some ticket with me, some encrypted ticket with me. So you need to prove your identity. The host need to prove its identity in order to mount the file system. Instead of blindly assuming that the IP they are connecting is the genuine. So I am not going to trust the client in my case say desktop zero. So I am not going to trust the client based on its IP. It should have some other authentication facility or say tickets, some encrypted tickets or something apart from the IP address should be there. So Kerberos is here to that comes into the picture. So using the Kerberos and some centralized authentication like Open LDAP or IPA or Active Directory, every host will be required to prove its identity before the shares can be or the exports can be mounted. So let's do this how we can integrate the Kerberos and the NFS and Kerberos works on something known as the TGTs and the KDCs, the ticket granting ticket and the machine which authenticates or which gives you the tickets they are known as the uh, your KDCs, key distribution centers. So once you authenticate with the, with the Kerberos by specifying your username and the password, Kerberos checks your you login name and the password in its database and once you are approved, uh, yes, the login name and password is valid and correct, then you will be given a ticket, an encrypted ticket, something like your boarding pass. When you try to board a, a plane, so instead of your ticket and your baggage, they just give you a boarding pass. So the boarding pass, if you have the boarding pass, that means, yes, your ID has been checked, your ticket has been checked, and your baggage is being scanned, weight, and it is being transferred. So you can now board the plane using that boarding pass. You don't need your ticket anymore. So this is something like the Kerberos works with. So in this, as if you see the Red Hat website, so secure NFS sharing is again an exam objective. So what we are going to do, we are going to have one machine. My server will be acting as the NFS and the desktop machine will be acting as the client. And we already have the centralized authentication using OpenLDAP or IPA already set up and the Kerberos tickets is the only one that I need to download. So on both the machines like your SSH keys, we have to download the Kerberos tickets. So let's start doing this. So initially I need to have my tickets, my Kerberos identity to be downloaded on my machine. So in you will be provided with this with these uh, identities so need not to worry about it as the Kerberos is already set up or you can ask your admin uh, like your senior admin that from where I can get the keys so I can simply give the wget and just specify it at C sorry it should be capital O specify the location at ckrb 5ktab is a file and from where I am downloading so this path you need to check or ask so I have my keys here so first thing is that you need to download the Kerberos keys so if I show you it's being downloaded at ckrb 5ktab this is the key that I had downloaded here that's great 
now i just need to start the nfs secure server if i check it out whether it is started or not sorry so let's start this this is the second step make it enable also so that it should be available across the reboot don't forget this if i check the status perfect it's running so let me create a folder here say secure nfs anything or any other name you can give say nfs secure nfs secure so this is a folder that i intend to export so i'll be adding this in my file you know it very well at c exports nfs secure and now i say i'm sharing it to my machine say 172.25 i'll just check the either you can specify the name or you can give the ip address so i can specify the name also desktop 0 i can specify the name because in the previous section we had done it with an ip read write whatever security is equal to krb 5p this is important so Kerberos offers you a different level of uh, securities. So KRB 5P, it can be KRB 5P, it can be KRB 5I. There are different uh, like uh, methods, security methods supported by the Kerberos. So KRB 5, KRB 5I, KRB 5P. So KRB 5I is it's actually integrity. I stands for integrity. So it check that guarantees that data is not being tampered with. KRB 5P, which I am using right now, it just protects the data from being sniffed over the network. So it encrypts all the requests between the client and the server and it prevents the data exposures. Yes, it can be slightly slower as the whole data needs to be encrypted, but yes, the security comes first. So you can choose any of this KRB 5P or KRB 5I or KRB 5 also, a uh, standard in the in the Kerberos world. So I just specify the KRB 5P. That means this folder will be protected by the KRB 5P. And just save and come out from here. And obviously I need to just do export FS. Reload. So if I give show mount hyphen E. It's showing me. Make sure you add it in the firewall as we had done it in the previous section so i have to add nfs here so don't forget this please hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add hyphen service nfs so make sure that the nfs is added you can also uh, like add if you remember mount d and rpc bind and rpc hyphen bind you can add these and just do a reload these firewall is added the uh, my folder is being shared using the Kerberos and I had already downloaded the keys I'll share you the keys just a moment so if I give the firewall cmd hyphen hyphen list hyphen all this is there now if I go to their etc you will find the krb 5ktf file here there are certain tools available read key tab i can use this kerry 5 dot key tab uh, the tool is not kt util sorry uh, krb 5 dot key tab and then you give rkt read key tab krb 5 dot key tab and i can give a list here so this is the key this is my identity so you might not find these tips and tricks and these commands in the standard curriculum but the more you know it's better for you so yes my machine is being uh, identified by Kerberos and the NFS service is also being having its identity in the Kerberos that means simply this I do a quit here 
So if I give a show mount hyphen E, it's showing me. That's great. So the job on the server side is done. Now what I need to do, I need to mount it securely from my desktop machine. So the, on the desktop also, you need to download the desktop keys. So again, I can, you should ask this from the admin. Where is the key for this machine? Every machine need to have its identity in the Kerberos and every service need to have its identity in the Kerberos. So HTTP slash slash classroom dot example dot com or whatever path you have with you pub key tab and say desktop zero in my case dot key tab. Oh, sorry. Let's check it out. My spelling is wrong might be key tab desktop zero. Oh, it is key tabs actually not S. I forget the S here key tabs S. S should be here S. That's it. Take care of typos. Perfect. It is being downloaded. So the identity of this machine from the Kerberos is downloaded. So you need I I can again check it KT utils rkt read key tab at ckrv 5 dot key tab so check it out whether yes the keys are for me or not yes the keys are for this machine and the nfs service has also got an entry in the kerberos fair enough quit from here i don't need to go here so just start the nfs secures here system ctl this is the service that you need to start nfs secure so there is a difference there on the server side it is server on the client side it is secure and make it enable enable nfs secure perfect so i can check the status once again running that's good now what i create a folder to mount it say under mnt i say nfs secure any folder name need not to be this under mnt so again i need to put up an entry in the firewall because if i let me try to give a show mount hyphen e server 0.example.com it is showing me this is good this is good now let me try to mount it and you know that when we have to mount it permanently as it should be available across the reboot i need to put up a entry in hcfs tab so that we are going to do now and this location should be mounted under my local hard disk MNT NFS secure. So if I move here at CFS tab, go to the bottom server 0 dot example dot com colon the name NFS secure where it is mounted under MNT NFS secure the file system is nfs defaults comma security is equal to krb 5p this you need to add though you can also specify the version 4.2 because the kerberos version 4 is the one which supports the kerberos nfs sorry mount all it says and if the protocol not supported so what I do, I just try to remove this. Done. So if I give a df-h, you will find here this is available. You have just mounted a secure folder or a secure uh, export from the NFS using the Kerberos. So that means if I uh, go to under MNT NFS secure because we don't have the file here so let me go onto the server side and I go inside NFS secure and I create a file here say echo welcome to network nuts I create a file here say test.txt this file is here so if I again do a LL here I can see the file that's great 
So if I do a LL hyphen Z here, it is NFS underscore T. So you can change the context because it is default underscore T here and here it is NFS underscore T. So let me make it a public content because of the SE Linux. So I need to set, so you know you can use the con command to change the context. So I can use here public underscore content underscore T to test dot txt. So the context will be changed here. That's great. And I can also change the ownership because I am already uh, authenticated with the LDAP. So if I'll show you if I give a K list here or if I, if I give a say uh, my user is there because I am already integrated with LDAP here. So if I have to change the ownership of the file, it's very simple here. So I can change the ownership say LDAP user 0 if I am the LDAP user 0 because if I give a get ENT LDAP user 0 sorry password so I am a LDAP client so I can use change the ownership to this user ch own LDAP user 0 and the group also you know this stuff this is a simple stuff and the file test.txt. So this is changed now. This is being owned by the LDAP user 0. And if you want to make it secure, so though it is already 644, so you can change this also. So if I go to the client side now and I show it to you, it is being changed LDAP user 0. So this is how you can change the ownership you can change the context you can do all these things so if i try to do uh the, if i am a ldap client that means i should be able to do a uh, ssh to this user with this user yes i am so if i do a ssh of ldap user 0 at desktop 0 because i am trying to get it on myself yes and the password is kerberos k-e-r-b-e-r-o-s so you have to ask this password from the admin now if i give a k list you will find there that i have a kerberos ticket with me now if i go under mnt nfs secure i can see this file right i can see this file the file is there And if I try to do say one line added, I'm just doing a simple stuff test.txt. I'm able to do it. And if I do a K list again now, you will find here even the service is being authenticated by NFS. So this is how you can check that whether the NFS is working properly or not. So once I had authenticated myself. With Kerberos, I got my login name, like the ticket on behalf of my username and the password. And once I have used the NFS service, I've got the ticket for the NFS service. Yes, that the server is secure and authenticated and we are not relying on the IP address alone. So the, this is very important and I'll repeat again. If you go to the Reddit website, you will find that this is one of their exam objective. I'll see you in the next class. Bye-bye.